Earlier videos showed how convenient it is to paint on canvas or linen taped to boards. Paintings that don't work out can easily be set aside without taking up much storage room. But what about the paintings that do work out? In this video, I'll demonstrate how to glue them to panels without risk of damaging them. I'm Sarah F. Jane. Welcome to my studio. Here are the supplies you need for gluing paintings that are painted on canvas or linen onto panels. Because the glue dries so fast, it's good to have all your supplies set up ahead of time, especially if you're gluing a larger painting to a panel. A pair of gloves is nice so you don't get glue on your hands. Of course, you'll need a painting, although this process works equally well for gluing canvas or linen to panels prior to painting on them. Next, you'll need a panel cut to the size of the painting that you're going to be gluing down. You need glue. I'm using Demco Neutral Bond, which is an archival glue with a pH of 7.0 to 7.5. It's good to have some paper towels or rags on hand. You'll also need an old credit card. This will be used to spread the glue around. You'll also need some boards or old paintings that are slightly larger than the painting you're gluing to, to make a press for drying the painting. Finally, it's handy to have a few fresh sheets of wax paper, slightly larger than the painting, torn out and ready to go, plus some old sheets of wax paper and newsprint to cover the table where you plan to glue. Oh, I almost forgot, you'll need a rubber brayer. Let's get started. The most important thing is to be sure your painting is totally dry. Carefully test to see if all areas of your painting are dry. Colors like alizarin crimson, sap green, the cadmiums, and some whites can take weeks to dry. Resist touching it with your finger like this. I can't believe how many times I've done that. It's fine if the painting is dry, but if not, you can mess up a whole passage. Since there's some setup involved, it's easiest to glue in batches. Plan to glue paintings in order of size from largest to smallest. The first thing we need to do is to prepare the press that we're going to use for drying the paintings. Set it up away from your gluing workspace. The largest paintings will go at the bottom of the press for drying, with each successively smaller painting on top. Since the paintings will dry more evenly with equal pressure on all points, you may wish to make two press piles, one for large paintings and one for smaller paintings. Then lay an old piece of wax paper on a smooth board or old painting that is slightly larger than the painting you were planning to glue. Get more boards or paintings ready to go for each additional painting you are gluing. Here's the painting I'm going to glue. It's a small 6 by 6 inch study on canvas. I have a 6 by 6 inch piece of hardboard cut and ready to go. Okay, so we flip the painting upside down. It's good to have an old piece of wax paper to put underneath in case of a gluey mess. Pour a little glue on the painting and spread it around with the credit card, pushing it into the cross weave of the canvas. If there is extra glue, scrape it off onto an old piece of wax paper. Now get the panel and center it on the gluey painting. Wipe any excess glue off of the edges. Flip the painting over onto a piece of wax paper. Check to see if any glue got onto the front of the painting and wipe it off thoroughly if it did. In fact, I forgot to mention, it's good to have a wet rag ready to go for this. Lay another new sheet of wax paper over the painting. Roll it from the inside out using a rubber brayer. It's important to use a clean piece of wax paper when rolling because if an old piece of wax paper has a dry drip of glue on it, it will likely cause a permanent dent in the painting. Once it's fully rolled, move the painting to the press pile that we set up earlier. Put it on the first board or old painting then cover it with a new sheet of wax paper you have ready and cover it with the second board or old painting. Now put a heavy book over that and then pile more heavy stuff on top of that. If you have additional paintings to glue, leave the heavy stuff on the first painting until you're ready to put the next painting in the press. Then remove the heavy stuff and put the next painting on top of the previous painting's top board or old painting. Place a fresh sheet of wax paper on the second painting and then put another board or old painting down and replace the heavy stuff. Now let your press pile dry overnight. After your painting is thoroughly dry, you can remove it from the press pile. Then 
put it upside down on a piece of cardboard, and then using a razor blade, cut off the selvages. Like I'm doing here. I also like to paint the back of the panel with a nice, dark brown latex paint. This seals it, protects it, prevents warpage, and I think it just looks better. Now your paintings are ready to frame. I'll show an easy way to do that in another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I so appreciate your subscribes and likes. It keeps me inspired to keep on filming. I look forward to painting with you. You must think I have stock investments in the wax paper industry, but I really don't. <laughs>